Okay, so um, yeah, I just heard someone, I thought I'd just shoot something, uh, share about being in the observer and all the fears and fearful thoughts are coming to test. And one is remaining in the observer and just staying in that detached observing, even if the fears and thoughts are there, almost like temptations to hook in. Why don't you don't identify with this fear? Go on, get sucked in. What about these thoughts? Are these scary enough to get hooked in and and not um, not not you know it's a, a solid a solid observer, despite temptation, it doesn't get hooked in and buy the drama. It doesn't buy the thoughts, doesn't buy the fears, doesn't buy anything of limitation, and remains and watches, and uh, and the miracles are happening, and they do happen because it's a high, elevated level of consciousness and there's a testing there's more of a testing in the beginning where the ego and the collective ego frantically tries to orchestrate things for maximum effect to get hooked in like is this fear loud enough will you hook in will you buy into this and get sucked in uh is this thought scary enough or is this situation scary enough to hook in and the person was refusing and then the miracles are happening which happens because you remain in very high level of consciousness is a flow state and then light and miracles starts to um, come to heal uh, all of these fears and thoughts and things that go on so uh, uh, I just wanted to share that's brilliant I mean what I do I'm always doing um, is um, the St. Francis thing and listening to my teacher Hawkins there's always more to go so well, I mean, usually in, in that situation, if there's fears and I'm in a solid observer, I'll go, okay. So I'm noticing in the solid observer fears and thoughts pass by. Not, there's no hooking into them. But uh, let's see if we can disappear them and go into a deeper observer. So I'm in a deta detached observer, which is very safe. But maybe, um, but there is another observer which has zero attachment to the world, is not interested in thoughts, fears, or registering anything of this world. It wants to go even deeper beyond into the states of infinite that reside beyond the world. So in those states, what I'm doing, I'm trying to see, is there a deeper observer where all of this disappears? And I'll go in and, um, and see if there's an observer of a deeper light and an infinite nature and love um, where the where the fears and the thoughts are not even seen, even though they're seen with detachment, they disappear, uh, and I'm re wishing to return to the infinite light and love, where not even the world is registered. So I'm always doing the Saint Francis thing, which is uh, what you're looking for is where you're looking from. So even if there's fears and thoughts that are seen but not hooked into, there's a deeper place where no fear or thought is even seen. And there's a deeper place of infinite light and love beyond that. So there's always deeper, so it's always inwards. So for me, you know, as St. Francis said, um, what you're looking for is where you're looking from. Or my teacher Hawkins said, it's prior, it's before. Or I love uh, Jesus Christ as well. The kingdom of heaven is within, it's not out there. So, um, so I think that was just brilliant what I heard and wanted to just quickly share what I what I do to try and go to the next level in these situations. So um, I shall stop the recording. Uh, hold on, stop.